the most jaw-dropping um, discovery that I've had during my career so far was actually the discovery of active subglacial lakes um, under the Antarctic ice sheet. We saw 10 meters of elevation change over two years on this particular part of the ice sheet. And it was the kind of signal that you showed your, your colleagues and they said, no, that can't be right. There's, there's gotta be an error in the data. I mean, and so you know, for several days, we went back and forth. We worked out it had to be a subglacial lake. It was really exciting because this is a whole new phenomenon that we didn't really understand before. And the fact that it was happening underneath ice streams where it can actually change ice flow rates towards the ocean. And it's a process that we need to have in models. Um, that was a really nice, a really nice discovery. After we discovered the lakes, we um, instrumented them with GPS and it's become a very big um, field of uh, exploration now. So we've had um, drill, a drilling team go down and actually drill into one of the lakes. We have a proposal that's about to be funded, we've heard, um, to drill into another one as well. So we're going to have samples in two different lakes to try and understand like the water that's under the lakes and what, what kind of life um, exists in these lakes and how long the lakes have been there and something about the history of um, what they mean for the ice sheets.